And a uh, Park City resident now urging everybody to get pipes checked to see the water coming into their home and find out if something in it is in it that shouldn't be there. Uh, a big reason why this woman was feeling sick. Kara Bracken joins us now in the studio. Uh, Kara, for several months, the homeowner says she hasn't been feeling well and, and thinks it has to do with her water. Yeah, that's what led Lisa Anderson's doctor to dig a little deeper into why. And after extensive treatment, her chronic Lyme disease symptoms weren't showing signs of improvement. Now, her doctor believes she may be feeling bad because of metal poisoning from something in her environment. That's when Retigo Labs went in to test the water coming into her home, turning on faucets and looking for any signs of bad water. They found Park City water to be safe. Again, not the water coming in from the city that's bad, but rather the way it's being carried into her home through copper pipes and the citrus-based filter filter that was contaminating her water. The contamination meaning major metal toxins, including a copper level 6,000 times higher than the recommended safe level. Now, I did ask Retigo Labs president additional steps you can take to ensure what you're drinking is safe. The Brita filters and that type that go right on the faucet, that mount right to your faucet, that have a, a carbon filter or something on, on them, they're very good at changing the taste and, and uh, color of your water. A reminder that how your water gets carried into your home often makes a difference. The lab saying it's important to make sure your water is balanced. Now, the last time Anderson got her blood tested, her copper levels were really high. And that's why in the coming months, now that the copper is gone from the water coming into her home, she's hopeful she starts feeling better and the next round of blood tests show improvements. I'm Kara Bracken, back to you. All right, Kara, something uh, folks might not think about. Thanks for